Capture your waiting everyone, welcome to Cinderella Phenomenon Another Virtual novel Point and click game I don't know why, I, I just Just want to do it and Rather than play shooting a lot <laughs> So right there Oh yeah Where's my cap going? Ah! Ah, so dark! Okay. Oh no! Okay! Okay, we're back. <laughs> I just accidentally lit my webcam wire. So let's begin to our journey a beautiful girl named Cinderella blah 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 girl and hatred hang on god damn it not you once upon a time in a kingdom of far far away there were two crystals one of the crystal Lucy, protected by the ruler of the fairy. The other was the crystalum terabarum, which was watched over by the high leader of the witches. The Lucy was sustained by the love, happiness, and joy. The terabarum <laughs> by fear, anger, and hatred. The fairy and the witches live in harmony with the human of the kingdom. They regulate the power of crystal in order to maintain the balance between darkness and light. Darkness! <laughs> for, there, for there can be no joy without sadness, no courage without fear. The kingdom was at peace for the time. Then one day, a traveling bar decided to write a story, tell of the magic and wonder of the kingdom. He named this story Fairy Tale. In Fairy Tale, the light always emerged victorious, and true love was an unusual reward. The fairy tale spread further than could have been predicted. The human of kingdom began to believe that fairy tales were true and that the magic of the witches was inheriting wicked and cruel. The witches began hate and fear. Fear and eventually they were hunted like an animal. God damn it! The witch hunt. No! The Witcher 3! <laughs> the High Leader of the Witcher, in all of her anger, created the fairy tale curse. You think we are wicked? So be it! Just as you have taken our happiness ever after, we shall take your. The witches use the fairy tale curse to attack human in incredible <laughs> ultimately drawing the kingdom into chaos and darkness. <laughs> <laughs> the rule of the fairy, the lucid barrier, sought to regain peace, but the witches were blinded by the dead hatred for humans. Who were responsible for the for the witch genocide? A terrible war, the Great War, began. War has changed. <laughs> Eventually, the terrible high leader of the witches was finally defeated. The terrible was lost. Peace was restored and the light once again 
swamp. But the but darkness can never fully disappear. It were in a kingdom <laughs> sorry. It was a shadow patient for the when it's time to develop Contract, sign here. Lose it there. <laughs> what? What should I do? Oh. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I can't send the character now. Venus. Damn it. Oh well. My OC, by the way. Pull up. I forgot the name. Why I changed the name? I don't know why. Oh well. Oh well. My name is Venus. Uh, why? Uh, Venus Rialella Britain, daughter of the King Jana General Britain Tree. I am the crown princess of the kingdom of Angelele. At least there was who I used to be, but the but that was before yesterday. When I became a victim of infamous failure curse, <laughs> everyone has forgotten my birthright. Now, I am nothing more than lowly person. I feel like I'm am stuck in the nightmare. But no. This is my reality now. I still have no idea what I must do to break the curse. I close my eye and remember that day. It has started out like any other day. Have you heard another person was cursed? Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> Even though it's all awkward. <laughs> I am I am on my way to the dining hall for breakfast when I stop and listen to the sound of harsh voice. You got no face! Wow <laughs> There were there are two men standing next to each other with a broom in their hand. These two are slacking off again. <coughs> two thumb boys. <laughs> you know. That is terrible! What fairy tale curse was that? <laughs> they say it's, uh, it was Pinocchio. What? Pinocchio? The fairy tale was. The fairy tale with a lying boy. What's no good longer? That's a waffle! You know, more and more people have been getting cursed lately. You think they're so wicked, witches are up to something? I thought the fairy curse would stop after you know who was defeated. You two were hired to work, not talk, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your <laughs> uh, I like it. As can only be expecting, expected from the light of them. Another fairy curse. The fairy curse started spreading even before the Great War began. I do not have much interest in the fact even now. After all, most humans probably deserve to get cursed. The victims are weak. Uh, 
will be better off without the dead weight. If it, if it, it were up to mother, the curse would have been banished when Angela left. The instant there were fell out of the floor. But mother is not here anymore. Where is she? And she will not come back ever. Princess? The king and the queen are waiting in the dining hall. I'm I am on my way. <coughs> well I could voice. <laughs> the king of Ophelia and God are all present in the dining hall. Someone is con concoctionally missing, but I ignore their absence. <coughs> Ah, hey, come, get away. King Janola. <sighs> okay. Good morning, Venus. Good morning, Your Highness. Why is it? Okay. Good morning, Your Majesty. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, good morning, Venus. Venus? Ophelia. Ophelia Widdison. Every day I wonder why my father, the king, married a lowly baker. Huh. She could never be a true queen for, the, for she fell in comparison to mother. I take my seat next to the king and then look up at the person sitting opposite me. Lord Benedict Riddleson, my stepbrother, is bored and quiet as usual. He's damn quiet, is it? <laughs> You're almost like Eli. Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> yeah. What I'm doing. <laughs> he is a two years my juniors. He is two years my juniors. And he's the youngest of Ophelia children. He is mute and used a flush bunny to voice his thought. It was apparently given to him by a fairy. He mind his own business and he is easy to deal with. But his older sister, my eye go to an empty seat beside him. She probably the most influencing person I have ever had the displeasure of knowing. Emiliane, I'm so sorry I'm late. I was waiting and forgot the time. And here she is. Good morning, dear father, mother. Good morning, Rod. And good morning to you too, Venus. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I don't know where's the God arrow sister and my stepsister. She act as if we are uh, we were blood, as if she too were uh, born a princess. As if she could be the crown princess, perhaps steal my place. I will never let that happen. Now that everyone is here, let's us begin. Buckler Glen inside with a silver tray to carefully serve us breakfast. So, Emily, like they, you were reading the fairy tale book that the king bought you? Oh, yes, there are so many, and they are all so wonderful. 
Thank you so much, Father. I am happy that you like them. <laughs> I love them. It's so strange that the library didn't have any of them to begin with. Sorry. That is because mother hate them. She had all the book burned. Huh? <laughs> but why? They are such charming story. Fairy tale mislead human into the belief, believing they can have thing they do not deserve. Pain, which love, happiness, even after. Happy day after, after, lol. Dot 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 by King Gerald. <laughs> and when they wish it do not come to a frustration, blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> ah. okay. What are you apply about the witch's penis? The atmosphere shift, the air in the room gooming heavily. I'm continuing to eat. Perhaps witches are not responsible for the evil in this world. Perhaps humans are the cause of their own downfall. Have you had any idea what you're talking about, child? Witcher has cursed nothing but a pain and suffering to the kingdom. Even now, they still spread the fairy tale curse to our innocent starfish. The truth is, I know very little about the time the witcher have free you around over the elderly. I was very young then, and mother forbid me to leave the palace, sometimes even my room. I know nothing about the people supposed pay and suffering. Mother kept me away from everyone, and so I cannot bring myself to care. How do you know the curse are innocent? Our people had tolling days, night and night to rebuild Angela after the Great War. Our people are the kingdom of foundation and I am endlessly grateful for their determination and resolve. Every day I wonder what your mother taught you about. Leave mother out of this. Dot, dot, dot. Dear, please. Dot, dot, dot. Venus, darling, your father didn't mean to. I am not one of your children, Ophelia. I do not need your sympathy. <laughs> I. Venus, will you show your mother who is bad? She is not my mother. I sit down my fork and knife and stand up. I am done. Excuse me. My father and I have never got on, but I will really should have seen he was said he's married the baker. My father, the king, it has been 17 years and I never fell and in love for him. He treated Emily and Rod, who only entered our life one year ago, like his own children, better than he has ever treated me. This has been my life ever since Mother passed away four years ago. Mother was the only one that was there for me where no one else was. If it wasn't for the accident during the Great War, she would still be here. Why the south face so early in the morning, princess? <laughs> You're so close! Get away! Let me guess. The king, the queen, or the princess and blah blah blah. It all is it all of them? I ignore his question. Fit, what are you doing here so early? 
I'm running some errands for my father. Faith Gala Eldon Leverton, son of the highest knight of the order of the Cardia. Cardia. His father, Sir Al Caste, has served the royal family for many years. Sir Al Caste is one of, of the king's most trusted advisors. Three years ago, Fritz was assigned the honor of the becoming my personal knight. His presence is the only company I can tolerate nowhere a day. You should wait in the throne room then. Thank you. Dot dot dot. Princess? Yes? You know, I haven't seen you smile once since I met you. Why is that of any importance? Ah, oh, dot dot dot. Still, I do hope to see you smile one day, Princess. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I won't take up more of your time. I'll see you at 10. 10? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten what? You're going to the town today, remember? I deflect as the realization dawned upon him. It has been two days since the king issued the order. Venus, I would like to uh, would like you to accompany Evelyn on one of the town outlay. Surely you could send me with her instead. I would not have requested you to accompany her if I, I was going to send her with her maid. I want you to make an effort to get along with your sister. That sister. She is your sister, and you will treat her and you are as if they were of your blood. Blood, Karna. Is this you? <laughs> Two days for now, you're going to accompany to the other side. <laughs> it has been four years since you last left the palace. Ever since then, you have locked yourself away. You barely leave your room. Angela Lily was the queen of war back then, but now the kingdom is safe and back into the former glory. I want you, I want you to see how the beautiful Angel Angelini really is. Venus, a princess must know her kingdom. Go with Amelet, and she will show you down that you only ever see through the, your window. Is there an order? If it, it, if it need to be. Are we clear? Venus? Understood. The last time I left the palace was four years ago. When the king took me with him to chat on the people after the Great War has ended, I shook my hand, removing myself from the memory. I am safe here. Princess, are you alright? It won't be that bad. The town for our good people. How can you be sure, so sure? Time has changed. People has changed. War has changed. <laughs> that is precisely the problem. Mother never changed. Mother loved me until the end. Sometimes change is for the better, princess. I think you will see that today. If you excuse me, I shall see you later. So, Bunny, what? Delora? 
Do you think witches are capable of bringing back the dead? I wish you could talk to me, you and the others. My door. What? It's, it's not fair. What the fuck? Oh well. My door are my only friend. They are the only one I can trust. Unlike human, they will never betray me. They will never hurt me. They will always be there for me. Yeah. Yeah, right. The the moment I saw Dolores, I knew she was special. She was different, so elegant, and realistic. It was almost as if she was breathing. She was a gift from the king on on my seventeenth birthday. I only started receiving doll for him when mother passed away. Mother done. Doesn't not believe in birthday celebration, but every year at midnight, a letter would appear under my door. It would contain instruction leading me to the palace on the adventure of the room filled with gift, cake, and sweet. A child dream. I've been fascinated by the door, which has always held a little greeting card. A card with the word "I love you" on it, signed by M. The card would tell me to keep those celebrations in a special secret, but I did not need to told to be told that. Mothers always found a way to show me she still care <coughs> in her own way. The secret celebration has stopped as soon as she had disappeared. <coughs> okay. Yes. Excuse me, Your Highness. The king has requested your presence. This better not be another lecture. Tell me, I'm, I am on my way. Sorry. I will see you later, Dolores. Dot dot dot. I gotta kill you. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Good morning, Your Highness. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sir Madras. Sir Madras, the royal advisor. Father trusts him a great deal, just like he does Sir Arcaste. Every day, he, every day you look more, more like your mother. Wait. <laughs> I sometimes find Sir Madras talking to Mother Portrait when he thinks no one is looking. He must have admired her a lot. But I cannot bring myself to think highly of him. There is something about him that put me on the edge. Are you on your way to see the king? I shall not keep you, you then, until our next meeting, dear princess. Your Majesty, Venus, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> you will enjoy this, Venice. I heard the toy store has lovely doll. I already have dollars. I don't want them more. This will be good for you. You will get to know your sister better, and you will able to interest in with the love. With and learn about the people into it, about our subject. I will not learn anything. I do not already. I do not already know. God damn it! <laughs> Why do you always believe the people around you 
are incapable of good because I have seen a, how quickly people will betray and manipulate each other to get what they want mother or mother warned me about the human nature you do not see clearly between us if you will only open your eyes you will be able to see how good people are where they are I believe I have already quite capable of seeing the true nature of people after all I have seen this seen that there is no good in you <laughs> Venus I where were you when I needed you four years ago where have you been ever since back then I've been overflowing with grief and pain I just lost my I just lost mother my entire world I hope that maybe that he would have shown me love and compassion. It was just hard to let me know someone was there. He had been a childless hope. I had been left alone. I did not see him for months. Have barely even heard his voice. You cannot rely on anyone but yourself. You cannot trust anyone but yourself. This is what you have taught me, Your Majesty. I know that I hurt you. I know that. I know that there is nothing I can do to atone for what I did. But please, Ophelia and her children are not part of that. They do not deserve to be hate. In the end. There still matter or more to him than I ever did. Venus, enough. I've already said I will go. Everyone is waiting outside. I shudder at the, at the thought of leaving the palace after too many years. Venus, it will be okay. How can you be sure? Thank you for agreeing to accompany Emily and Jesus. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to how to call that name. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I would not disobey an, an order from the king. Excuse me. That was fast. Hello, can I can I help? <laughs> Viva Wika! Um, uh, um, e <laughs> can I go short? Ime! I mean, Prince Ime! How good to see you! I... I treat Ime in knowing her as she embraced her friend. <laughs> oh, you touch me. Why, Hekka, why? Why you come to me? <laughs> I glance around to the small shop. The door display are nowhere near the quality of the one uh, in my room. I cannot understand why Ime insisted she buy a gift for her friend here. I cannot believe I am outside the palace. There's no need to be thanked, princess. I will never let anything happen to you because I'm your prince charming. <laughs> your your only job is to relax and enjoy yourself. You ask the impossible of me, of me, yeah. Huh? <laughs> There's no need to be former Viorica. I'm still the same as I was. Oh yes, where uh, God come along as well. It been a while, Viorica. It's good to see you too again, T again too, God. And I must in this, in this 
instructs you to the, her highness, the crown prince of Venus. The look of your face as she takes a step back from me in all the too familiar fear. My apology for being so rude, your highness. Good morning. Um. What? Ah! And this is the Sir Frigera. Sir Alastair's son. It's a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Oh, you're so frigga. <laughs> you really are as handsome as Amy described in her letter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't mind her, Sir Frigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Right. <laughs> so, um, what bring all the way here? Oh, I'm here to get some toy. Give from the f for give for some new friend. Toy from here? Are you sure? Of course I am. I cross my arm. I will prefer we finish this event as quickly as possible. <gasps> yes, of course. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Princess, I can barely breathe in here. I just want to go back to the palace. Ooh, beautiful bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Beautiful woman. Nice. Beautiful lady. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. <gasps> Up until this point, I have always considered mother to be a fairly beautiful in the land. The lady that walked in prove me wrong. Her beauty is memorizing and clearly without peers. Everyone in the shop is openly staring. Oh! <coughs> oh! You're early today, madam. Uh, Ma'am. I have some important errand to run later today. Are the items ready now? Oh, of course. Let me, let me, let me go and fetch them for you. I'll just be a one moment, Ime. Why is she smiling at me? Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Ah, that lady was beautiful. Yeah, she is. She reminds me. <laughs> I know. Right, any girl standing next to her become hopelessly ugly by comparison. Who is she? She knew around town. Some say that she a fairy. A fairy? Fairy hat. Saved from the witcher four years ago. Everyone considered them our savior, and yet the fairy are still unable to stop the fairy curse from the spreading. Here you go. Thank you so much. My God, I. Okay, one more round. Thank you so much. No, thank you, Vio. I can't go short. Vio, I hope to drop by again soon. Good, I will. I'll, I'll look forward to see you again. I hope to see you again soon as well. What? Likewise. 
Lady Bless was a bad idea. Really, you look like a a marshmallow. <laughs> okay, save kitty cat. My save kitty cat. I gonna continue this later in the next episode. So leave a like to the video and add it to your favorite if you enjoy this and subscribe to them to see more in the future. Ciao.